everyone, and welcome to Polly'sHairBar.com. I'm just sitting here, and I'm getting ready to finish up on this unit I'm making. I'm going to cut it and color it. I have my developer sitting here ready. But before I get into my creative process, I thought it would be a good time to stop and take a break and have a glass of wine. So that's what I'm going to do, and I'm going to share with you the wine that I'm drinking so that I can get into my creative process to finish this piece. I've already started this last night drinking this, but um, I'm gonna finish it today. This is Barefoot and it is a sweet red blend. So what that tells me is that um, there's some fruit or something in here that's blended and it is. It is black cherry and plum. Now, um, I did go ahead and start drinking this last night. It is um, on the medium side, so it's not too sweet. It's not too dry. It's just right in between those two, um, which is a good mix for me because I do like dry red wines. Um, when we get into the white wines, I love a sweet white, not a dry white, but reds, for some reason, I like dry red wine. Um, this um, Barefoot has won an award. It's a platinum award. And um, it is a really good wine. I can taste the black cherries in it. I can taste a little bit of the plum in it, but it is a nice, um, a nice sweet wine. Now the company that makes Barefoot actually has been in existence since 1965. However, they didn't take over the name um, Barefoot in the company until 1986. So they've been around a while. Um, if you go into their website, which is barefootwine.com, they give you all kind of food recipes that you can make with their wine. And they also give you a lot of mixed drinks that you can make with their wine. Summertime's getting ready to come. And um, if you're going to throw some picnics and some barbecues and things like that, the Barefoot brand may be a good brand for you to try. It's inexpensive, very affordable. Um, and that's another reason why I'm starting to um, really like the Barefoot brand. Now, um, another thing that I like about the Barefoot brand, let me get something. This, this cork is a little, let's see if I can get this put out with my shirt. Yes. The Barefoot brand, I already did this have foil on it. It is corked. I have my foil cutter, corkscrew, and of course, I love my pour to go in. Um, another reason why I like this is that they put this little foot on the top of the bottle. When you take the foil off, the cork has their um, brand on it, which is good for advertising. It's a good marketing piece for them. Now, the interesting thing about this cork, if you can see that, it is not like a regular cork per se. Um, it feels a little plasticky, um, really smooth, and that's because in 1981, um, there was a chemical that in the cork that was being, um, that tainted some of the wine. You would get a really smelly, like um, moldy type, mildewy type um, taste and smell to the wine and it was because the cork had something it called TCA and that TCA was tainting the wine. So they started um, using um, glass stoppers, these type of plastic stoppers, um, screw caps, things like that so that the wine wouldn't get tainted. Um, I don't know if you have to worry about that too much anymore. Portugal is one of the biggest leaders in the industry of making the corks. And there's actually like 20 billion stoppers made every year, whether it's a cork, whether it's this plastic, whether it's a screw top. So this is a billion dollar industry. Um, one of you geniuses out there might want to come up with a different type of stopper for some wine. Who knows? Um, but um, it's interesting that Barefoot is taking protection um, over their wine and putting something different in it than an actual cork. Um, there is um, some concern though, because when we, um, a, wine, sorry about that, when wine is aged, it actually um, 
is aged better with a real cork in it. So um, this wine here is not aged, um, so you really don't have to worry about it. Um, but if you run into that, um, like I said, if it has a funny smell or something or a funny taste to it, take it back to the store, pour it out, whatever you want to do with it. Um, I don't think it's going to hurt you if you drink it. It may make you a little sick, but um, we'll get into that more as we get into wines from France and Portugal and things like that. Um, I'll talk about the corks in a little bit more depth. But... Um, Barefoot is actually made here in California, Modesto, California. So it is a California wine, sweet and smooth. And I'm gonna go ahead and pour some of this up. And I did find out that um, Barefoot carries a spritzer. So I am gonna get into some spritzers. Um, once it gets a little bit closer to summer, some wine spritzers, you can make red wine spritzers and you can make white wine spritzers. And we're gonna do both. I'm gonna give you a heads up on that if you wanna try some of the spritzers out with me. And I'm gonna buy a bottle of the Barefoot Spritzer that's already made up and um, try that as well and let you know how I like that. But I'm gonna go ahead and pour me a glass of this wine here. Now, when I say I'm gonna pour a glass of wine, five to six ounces in your glass, not half full. This is about a five ounce glass of wine here, okay? So let's see what it tastes like. I already know, but you know. Like I said, it is a really good um, mix of the black cherry. More of the black cherry is what I'm tasting than the plums. Now, let's see here. I also wanted to tell you guys that this wine pairs good with fl um, flank steak, grilled vegetables, spicy um, treats, mm, like grippo potato chips <laughs> out of Cincinnati. But tonight I am actually having it with quiche. And this is cheese and broccoli quiche. Well, I haven't tried it with the quiche. I don't want to talk with my mouth full, but let's see what it tastes like. Very good. It brings out the flavor even more in the quiche. Now, I did put this wine in the freezer because I wanted to serve it very cold. When I'm drinking sweet reds, I have to have them ice cold. Don't like ice in it because I don't want to take away the flavor. However, there are wines that I'm going to go over that go well with ice. So you ice people out there who like ice in your wine, I'm going to give you some good ones to try the ice with. Very good. So I just wanted to share that with you. Um, I got to get back to finishing this. So you guys have a great evening. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye.